Next up, we've got another popular Slipknot request. The song is called Gehenna. Gehenna? I'm not really sure how that's pronounced. Um, but yeah, before I get into this, it's the official audio. I just wanted to quickly say that I have a ton, an absolute ton of Slipknot songs on my list that I still have yet to get through. I see everybody's comments, posting suggestions. I appreciate the suggestions. Don't worry, I'm getting through them. I'm trying to crank out videos as quick as I can. They just have so many freaking songs to get through. Um, so just stay tuned. They're coming out. Um, yeah, other than that, hey, let's get into it. so creepy right off the bat you have that little i don't know what that high pitch sound is in the background it reminds me of like a haunted house but then you have Corey doing his like whisper type lyrics it just sounds really dark and creepy ah and then when he just said breathe right there Ooh. So far, it's one of their slower songs. I would definitely say it's a slower song up to this point, but totally, totally different. It's got this super creepy vibe to it. Oh my gosh, I love how when he was when he was screaming there that the drums like picked up crazy to to go along with it. It just it just added to the effect rather than just him randomly screaming over the the slow track that they had going on. I thought that was really good. That's gonna be the highest note I've heard him hit yet. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, he continues to impress. That That is a high note for him, in my opinion. That sounds really good.
not letting that creepy laugh slide. Who was that? Who did that? I don't know who it was. I don't think it was Corey. But that was, you know, one of those little diabolical creepy laughs that they just threw in there. Oh, that sounded <laughs> That was creepy. I like it. my gosh that that was crazy i love how it was uh how it was like a, a slow the the guitar didn't like go crazy like super fast it was just really slow and went along with with the pace of the song really well uh and and the the tone of the notes just stayed on par oh it, it was crazy it fit so well i love that that was insane i cannot maintain A semblance of no more anymore I'd rather feel pain <laughs> Than try to fit in with you anymore I'll throw it all away yeah. Like everybody else I can finally be myself Wait a second, did he say, I can finally be myself because I don't want to be myself? What in the world's going on there? <laughs> Is that just like so deep that I can't comprehend? It's crazy. Is he chain? It sounds like he's changing the pitch every single time he repeats that, and he says "you." It sounds like he's changing it just ever so slightly every single time, which I, 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 I like that. It adds a little flavor. We cannot overlook this guitar. Now, it's interesting the way that they're doing this. I, I, I don't know the, uh, the band member who's on the guitar. I mean, I, I know their name, I'm sure. I don't know who it is off the top of my head. But there is a borderline guitar solo type deal going on right now, but it's in the background. Like, Corey's vocals are up front. So you don't really notice it unless you listen. And that's what I'm picking up on now, and it sounds so crazy. The guitar is popping off right now in the background, but just the way that they've kind of mixed the song, I guess, you don't notice it unless you're really listening for it. And I, I, I like that. I, I'm picking up on it, I'm focused on it, and it sounds really crazy.
It's still going. I really like how they took that one out there at the end. That was that was interesting. That was different, but man, I love that. That was a great song. Jeez, that song was so different again than any other ones I've heard. It was called I still don't know how to pronounce this. Gihenna, Gihenna, and it was it was so creepy. I loved the I loved the overall vibe of the song. It was it was really slow. But I, I like that, and I love—I just love the overall sound of the song. It was very, very dark, very different. And I think a lot of people might be put off by the fact that Corey repeated the chorus so many times, like there towards like the second half of the song. But in reality, in my mind, as I was listening to it, it seemed like it changed ever so slightly each time he said it. And while he was saying it, like I mentioned before, there was this very long drawn out just guitar solo type thing going on in the background that just wasn't really in your face so you couldn't really tell unless you were listening for it and so i i just for me it was different the whole way through it wasn't just repetitive and stale and i really liked that i thought that was really cool the way that they did that so yeah this song for me super crazy i i loved it i loved the sound overall and I cannot wait to get into the next song. So stay tuned. I have a ton on my list, like I said earlier, and I'm working through them as fast as I can. Just be on the lookout. I try and upload every single day, sometimes two and three times a day. Um, yeah, if you're still here, thanks for watching.